back to another Twister Sister Studios tutorial. I'm Holly the Twister Sister and I've got a brand new balloon tutorial to share with you guys this week. Since we moved here to Colorado Springs, we've been doing a lot of outdoor activities and camping and everything like that. And this week coming up on August 10th is actually National S'mores Day and I'll be camping for it. So I decided uh, I've got to come up with something to kind of go with camping and s'mores and all of that. So I've created a brand new design that I'm excited to share with you guys today. It's a little campfire and even has, you can make a s'more stick thing to go with it. Super cute. Let's go ahead and get into it. I have two brown 260s um, inflated, just about a three to four inch tail. And then whatever color you want your fire to be, I've just inflated some yellow, red, and orange balloons. Um, nothing exact on the sizes, just put a couple pumps of air in there and you should be fine. And then I also have a white five inch round for our marshmallow if you wanna do the marshmallow on a stick to go with this. So this takes um, multiple balloons, so it's not super fast in that regard, but it does come together pretty quickly. Um, so it might be something you want on maybe some of your summer menus or things like that if you're doing a cookout or any kind of events like that, this would be a good one. So I'm going to start off with the brown 260 here that left about a three, two to three inch tail on there. And we're just going to make the base of our campfire, which is supposed to look like sticks or wood. <laughs> So I'm just gonna make about a two to three inch bubble and then do another one the same size and then twist those two together using the knot, wrap it around and then pull it through. And we wanna do this same exact thing again three more times so we'll have like a little cross shape of wood at the base of our fire. So another two to three inch bubble, fold it over. And these don't have to be exactly the same size or perfect at all because it's sticks that were just thrown there. So they don't have to be perfectly even and all that. Okay, so just make your two bubbles, twist them together. And again, two bubbles and twist them together. So you should end up with four flower petals um, or like an X like this. Okay, and our fire is gonna sit like this and the fire will be on top of here, okay? You can get rid of this for now if you'd like to or keep it while you're working or leave it as a stick if you want your design to have a handle. Um, now the next thing I'm gonna do is start adding the fire. Um, I'm gonna start with the red and then go orange and yellow so it's kind of starting dark and getting lighter. Um, you could also go the opposite and have the yellow in the center and then go out to the fire. So that's kind of personal preference. Just make sure you really squeeze out each of these balloons or let a lot of air out after you inflate them to make them nice and soft because we're going to want to give them some shape like a flame as much as we can. Okay, so I'm going to take my red first and I'm just going to take the nozzle and connect it right here in the middle of our X. And I'm going to do a small loop here about a hand's length and just kind of give it a squeeze before you twist it in there. And we can you can secure the rest underneath the fire pile or you can get rid of it. That's all we need for this one balloon. Now I'm going to incorporate the orange. So I'm gonna take my orange balloon and same thing to attach it and get it started. We're gonna take the nozzle and just wrap it around the center of our wood X or wooden X. And then same thing, we really wanna squeeze this out so we can get a little bit of shape to it. And I'm just gonna loosely take that up over the red balloon like that and tie it into the base on the other side. And you can get rid of the rest of your orange now. And you can see how we can play with this, kind of give this orange one a pointy top here. And it's starting to look sort of like a little flame. Now the last color we're gonna add to finish it off is gonna be the yellow. So same thing again, we're just gonna tuck that into the base of our fire. Squeeze this balloon out, make it nice and squishy and soft, shapeable. And again, that's gonna go right over the top of our other loops. Loosely, you don't want it to be too tight because we wanna be able to pull this up a little bit so that we can give it some squeezing and some shaping, okay? So loosely, Pull that over the top and secure in the base. 
Okay, so now we have our little flame on our wooden pile here. Um, again, you can leave this as a handle to hold onto, or you can get rid of it. I think this would be a great design to put on top of a headband. So then you'd have like a little flame, a fire on your head, and then someone else could have the stick with the marshmallow, or you could hold it over your own head to roast your marshmallow. I think it's hilarious. So to make the marshmallow on a stick, we're going to grab another brown 260. And I only inflated this one about as long as I want the stick to be. So however long this is, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just tie off the end of my balloon here at the tail. I'm just make a single knot here. Pull that tail through. And I'm gonna cut off the rest of this, but save it. So there's our stick. You can kind of straighten it up a little bit by manipulating your balloon. And then I'm going to reinflate the tail that we just cut off just so we get the end of it inflated. I've reinflated the end and I'm just let out some air so we have about that much of a piece at the end. Okay, now I'm going to take a five inch round and just inflate this till it's a nice round ball shape. Okay, so you don't need it to be overinflated or fully inflated or too big or anything. It's just a nice round ball shape. Go ahead and tie that off, but try to keep your knot out towards the end of the nozzle here so that you have some squishy space there to fill out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the nozzle. Well, first I like to squeeze this. Then take the nozzle of the white balloon and kind of place it together with the nozzle of our long brown balloon. And what we're gonna do is take our finger on top of those knots and push it through the middle. See my finger is going in there. We're gonna push it through the middle of our white balloon and kind of grab it with our other hand. Once you get those nozzles in your hand, then you wanna twist this a little bit to secure that. Okay, and now to make it look like our marshmallow is on the stick and not just at the very tip of the stick we're going to take the tail from our end piece and we're going to wrap that around the little knot that we're holding in our fingers okay wrap that around a good number of times if you want you can even tie it around there just do a loop and then pass it through the loop and that'll secure it on there really good so it won't come off if you have any extra you can go ahead and snap that off now to try to hide any of these knots and bits and pieces up here we're just gonna roll our marshmallow up a little bit towards the front part of our stick and now it looks like you have a marshmallow on a stick and you've got your little fire to roast it over <laughs> isn't this so cute I think this is really fun for camping. I know it's got me excited for our camping trip. We're leaving tomorrow. We'll be gone for a week with no cell service. So I might not see your comments for a week, but please leave comments anyway for me to enjoy when I get back. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of this design. I think it'd be fun to have this on a bracelet so you can have it on your arm and then be roasting your marshmallow with your other hand or again as a hat and you can roast marshmallows on your head. It's just a fun outdoorsy themed uh, design. So let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments. It's a little bit different, but I thought it'd be great for National S'mores Day and for my camping trip. If you guys like this design, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I put out new videos every week and that way you won't miss anything if you're subscribed. And if you are looking to take the fun and joy you have for balloon twisting and make it into a money making business or even a side gig for yourself to earn some extra income, uh, check out the Twister Hood. It is the membership program that I created just for balloon artists to help you with all the business aspects of running a balloon twisting business or starting a brand new one. I've got all kinds of resources in there that help you 
get going and keep going more efficiently, more effectively, um, and you don't have to learn all the crazy tech stuff that can be a little bit daunting when you're just starting out as an artist. So link for that is in the description below. And if you want to put this on your balloon twisting menu, I do have clip art available for it now in the store. And you can go check out that at the Twister Sisters Studio store <laughs> or get yourself a cool shirt or an outfit to wear while you're doing your gigs so that you feel confident and you look the part. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed making it for you and I can't wait to see you again next week. Bye everyone.